Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. In this series of videos, we are going to be taking a look at a very simple method that can help you identify potential turnaround situations in a stock that has come off its uh, most recent highs and is on a pullback mode. This video should be giving help to those who are looking to own a stock for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, since we're going to be taking a look mostly at the monthly charts and weekly charts, even though you can use this on daily and hourly charts. But the idea is very simple. Uh, if you've been following my work, then you know about the what I call the uniformity method or the symmetry method. And all it is, is we'll take an example where a stock starts moving, something like that, and has a very strong move. So what we do is we figure out where this move began in the RSI. Well, let's call it somewhere like that. So we draw a simple straight line. On hindsight, we can see that the move began when the stock made a low here in price. And keep in mind, so this is now the RSI. And we are going to go ahead and put in the values that we use. 69.1, 50 obviously, and the other one is 30.90. Now, I have a lot of videos on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, that explain this in detail. So let's not worry about that. For now, we are looking at trying to identify a setup where we can get back into a stock after it has had a nice run and has pulled back. So what we do here is we see that the RSI moved above this range. So there. And which began this move here. Now we are using the stocks on performance. So we are looking for stocks that have done well. Now this one has done well. And we do know from our uniformity principle and our RSI symmetry principle that if the stock ever comes back to the same level, so we draw a simple straight line here. And you keep that line on your charts because down the road it could become relevant weeks down the road, months down the road, sometimes even years down the road. And what you do is once the stock gets into a pullback mode, if at some point the RSI, for example, comes here and has uniform activity below the line and back above it, and the key here is the uniform activity. If you don't see this uniform activity, If you don't see uniform activity, don't take the trade. And if you don't observe any symmetry, don't take the trade. And so we can see in this particular example here that we have uniform activity back to the line and back above it. Now, uniform activity can come in many forms. It could be double bottom. It could be in the way of a V-type formation. It could be something like that. But all you're looking for is uniform activity below our critical line that we've drawn from the perfect entry point before the stock began this massive run up. And so we know that if it is on a pullback mode and we see any one of these formations taking place along the line, then we take the trade because that indicates that more than likely there is another move back to the upside. So that's what the method is about. And if you've taken some time to take a look at my channel on YouTube, you're going to find lots of examples as to why this principle makes a lot of sense and why it keeps repeating itself over time. So again, let's just do this one more time pretty quickly here. Is you want to find a stock that has had a nice run. So you missed this run, but you'd like to own the stock during the next move. And normally you'll find that this happens to coincide with a RSI breakout. So we can see here that the RSI did break out somewhere here. And so we draw a simple straight line from the ideal entry level and keep that line on our charts. So what we are saying is that every time, for example, we come here and have some type of uniform activity below the line back above it, then that suggests that the stock which is on a pullback mode, so of course the stock is going to have come all the way down like that. Once we see this uniform activity here, it means that the stock is due for another move to the upside. If you are looking at monthly charts, then you can own the name 
or the instrument for a couple of months, maybe three to six months, maybe longer, depending on how things go. If you see any other type of uniform activity down the road, for example, something like that, it means that the stock again has come back to a level of turnaround situation and more than likely is poised to move higher. If the same thing happens, sometimes it could be just that it got close enough, but not to the line, maybe something like that. Close enough to the line, uniform activity there, which means again that there was a pullback and the stock is due to move higher. And you keep using that line until the day and the time comes where it's broken and there's no uniform action. Again, without uniform activity, don't take the trade. If you see uniform activity, then you take the trade. But the best way to show you this is to show you by using examples. So let's take a look at some examples. Otherwise, the method itself is very simple. Okay, let's take a look at the first example. This one is very easy to identify. You can see here the stock had a nice run, which began here at about $6 and would go on to trade as high as, let's call it at about $18 in under one year. And we can see that the move began when the RSI moved above this highs here. So somewhere around, let's take this, let's even draw it this way. So the move began when the RSI moved above this level somewhere there. And so very simply, we draw a simple straight line. And the key here is the uniform activity. As you can see, sometime in October of 2014, the stock went below the green line and back above it with the uniform activity which gave you an entry level somewhere here at about $16. And since then, the stock has gone on to double in about one, two, three, four, four months. So that's the a very simple way of explaining that method is you find where the price movement began, which is here, corresponds with this RSI movement there. You draw a simple straight line. And should you observe down the road that the stock comes back to the green line with uniform activity and back above the line, so it looks something like looks something like this. Which is uniform activity below the line and then back above it. You want to be a buyer just as it moves back above the line with uniform activity, which would have been somewhere here, again, at about $16, $17. Let's take a look at another example. We're taking a look at BRS, just another random name, and we're using a monthly chart, long-term monthly chart from 1990 all the way to 2015. We can see that there was a slight move here from about Let's call it $7 all the way to about $26. So very nice move here. We use that information, which means that the stock broke out of this wedge. There, which began this nice move that ended up here. So we can keep that line on our charts even years down the road. It's a perfect example because this entry level here was in 2000 and yet you can see that we had uniform activity below the line and back above it at this point here so that was a nice entry there in 2009 which is somewhere let's call it here we have another uniform activity back to the line it touches the line and moves back up which is a uniformity because of that symmetry remember we only take the trade if we see symmetry. And we can see here symmetry because it comes to the line, touches it, and jumps back up, which is this entry here in the 40s. Stock would go on to gain as much as 100% within the next six months. We can see here in the current market, it is also bouncing on the same line. So without knowing what the future brings, you can see that this means that in the next six months, nine months, in the next one year, the stock should be higher if, as we can see here, if the RSI 
continuous holding above this line with uniform activity. So here's a long-term view that again reinforces the idea that we need to keep our lines on our charts longer, extend them even years down the road. In this instant, very good example where entry point was in 2000, but it is still giving us entry points as uh, much forward into the future as in sometime in 2010, again in 2012, and here we're seeing it doing the same thing beginning of 2015. Now here's another example I want to want to show you here is that there's no need to complicate this process. Just find an area in the stock. This is a monthly chart for CAP. Again, another random stock. And we see that there was a nice move here from about $12, middle of 2011, all the way to about beginning of 2013, where the stock had gained from 12 all the way to about $30. You know, that's a nice move. And we can see the move began when the RSI jumped here. So this RSI move here began this move here at about $12, $13. And we can draw a simple straight line like that. And we see here we, we could have used this as support, which meant it was a buy about a couple of months ago here in the $19 area. And if you held for a couple of months, because this is a monthly chart, you want to hold for months down the road. And you can see that this could have been a good buy area, which should have kept you in the stock, even including the current move. Now, you can also back test your buy point by going backwards to see whether it makes sense. You can see here that it makes sense because after the stock moved above this RSI line, now going backwards, this was the level. So even on hindsight, we can see that once the stock broke out here, it began another move from about $6, $5, all the way that took it all the way up to about mid-20s. So even though we used this period initially, this move here, to give us this entry point here, we can always backtest it backwards to see whether it had another move pr prior to that. So what I'm saying here is that just keep it simple. Draw simple lines that make sense to you. And because what you'll notice is that markets have a tendency of coming back to the same levels and showing some type of uniform activity, which means that a turnaround situation is about to take place. Here is another example of how you can just keep things very simple. You can see there's a movement here, an RSI breakout in 2013 somewhere there that began a nice move from about five dollars that took the stock all the way to about 17 18 dollars it might seem like a small move but that's a big move of about 300 percent and of course as you know all we have to do is just keep our line on the chart there and you can see that it did come and hit that line twice so i would say it looks something like this and yes, it's not a perfect science. It did something like this. Something like that, which is this action here. Both of these actions independently are uniform. The key being that it held on the same line. So it held the green line. And because previously, when it moved Above the line here, we saw a move of about 300%. And because of uniformity, remember, we don't take the trade if there is no uniformity. But the stock did show us some type of uniformity, which is this action here. And since then, whether you believe in the method or not, you can see what happened here is that, again, the stock moved from $5 this time all the way to 32 33 Now, that's a big gain. All right, now, if we backtest that same level, just out of curiosity, you can see on years gone by, there was a period where the stock moved above this range, which was at about $15, and the stock would go on to rally as high as $90. So it seems like for some reason, whenever this stock moves, it always began 
during this period where it had previously just touched this green level and began to move. So yes, it did not move, for example, during this period here, there was no sharp movement. Why? I would say because I don't see any uniformity here. You want your uniformity action to be as clear as possible so that you can know that exactly what is going on is uniform activity. In other words, what you want is you want to find an entry on the RSI. So the RSI was making some moves. It jumps above, let's say, this level here. Change colors here so we can see what we are doing. So there's a movement there, which begins a nice price movement. We draw a simple straight line. And we know that should we come back to this line at any other point down the road with uniform action, we know that the stock is a buy. So if we observe that the stock has come back and is showing uniform action, then we know that there's a trade that could be taking place. Anything of this type, any kind of uniform action. I've seen them in all sh shapes and forms, even that I could consider support on the line, which is uniform action. V-type formation, uh, triple bottom. The key is that you want uniform activity on the line. And that's how you know that there is a trade that could be taking place for a turnaround situation. So now keep in mind that whenever you see a triple bottom, like in this instant here, when the RSI is moving and touching the line three times, it generally means that the prices have been making lower lows. So prices have been coming down like that. And so what is going on is pretty much improving technicals or level, leveling out technicals while the prices are going down. So it's not the simplest method sometimes if it's forming multiple support levels like a double bottom, triple bottom, quadruple bottom because the price more than likely is going to be making lower lows confusing people but as long as the RSI is holding on the line eventually all things held constant it is going to jump and move above all this downward price action so the method works as long as there's uniform activity and support at the line now this does not only work for stocks it works for general markets also for example take a look at the Nasdaq this is a weekly chart for the NASDAQ going back to 2008, coming into 2015. We can see, of course, that off this lows here, that the market began a very nice move here that took the market from about 1300 all the way to about 2500. So from this period here to here was a big move. We can see that that movement began during this RSI move. Very simple strategy for those of us who have been using it. It's been very helpful in keeping us in the market during pullbacks. You can see so this entry level there began this move here. Or we draw a very simple straight line. Something like that. Remember this is a weekly chart and every time the market came back to that line with uniform activity, which has been the case, we had nice entry level for another move high in the market. We have uniform action below the line, back above it, which gave us these lows here. It touches the line again, which gave us these lows there. It comes here, close to it, double bottom support, which gave us those lows. Uniform activity, perfect. V-type formation, very nice lows there. We came close here to record those lows. We touched that a couple of months ago, and that timing was also very helpful in keeping us or getting us back into the market. So it's a very simple strategy, but because of the uniformity, because of the symmetry, whenever you observe it, it generally means that you're better off taking the trade and letting the market either bounce or at the very worst, 
maybe you can take a loss of 3% or at the very worst 8% loss. So this method is for those of you who are looking for stocks that have pulled back after recording highs and you want to buy it after a pullback hoping for a continued move after you've missed the initial jump in the stock. So if you missed all this upside potential, all you have to do is wait for the next logical buy point during a pullback if the RSI gives you uniform support at a previously uh, predetermined entry level. Hope that makes sense. Now let's take a look at a monthly chart for the NASDAQ again. Remember, you're supposed to play with this because what you're looking for is uniformity. If you see it, take the trade. Here's an example of a market that moved off the lows of 2000, 2001, 2002. And we can see that the RSI moved out of a range here. So that entry was here, which took the market from about under 1500 in 2003 all the way to late 2007 at about 2800. And so we can see that the entry began here on the RSI. We draw a simple straight line like that. And this, in my opinion, is something that looks like a V-type formation below the line back above it. You might not agree with that, but from my, um, I guess, experience using this method, I would call that uniformity because, it, let me draw that correctly. So th that's the line there. This to me looks very uniform, below the line, back above it. As proof, take a look at, if you had used that entry back above the green line, so let me draw the green line again. If you had used that entry back above the green line as an entry level, you would have been in the market somewhere here, which was during this recovery of the lows of 2009, somewhere there. And since then, you can see that the market has gone on to trade very well. So remember, this is a method. It's a monthly chart, which means you want to own the instrument for many months, six months, nine months, 12 months. In this example, we are seeing that this market has remained good even two, three years down the road. So the method itself works. If we go back to backtest this method, this line, we can see that there is uniformity. You can't argue with this. There is uniformity, uniform action, V-type formation below the line back above it, which was the lows here during the Gulf War of uh, 1990, early 91. And from this entry point here, you can see the market would go on to trade from under 400 on the NASDAQ all the way to 5,300. So the line itself eventually gave you a nice entry here, which is this entry, and eventually another entry here, which is this entry here sometime in 2009. Now, there's another way you can look at this, and it is to use, there was a slight breakout here, late 2009, slight breakout, and if you draw a straight line showing you where the entry was, so the entry was somewhere here, you draw a simple line like that. You'll see that every time the market has come back to the level, which happens to be around the 50, here there was uniform activity on the monthly chart, double bottom uniform activity, which was those lows, and then we have a V-type recovery back above the green line, which is this entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and focus closer into this period between 08 and 2015, so give me a second. And now we are looking at the same period, but a little bit closer, more information between 2007, 2008. I was trying to explain that there was a slight breakout there. Here, remember this is not perfect science, which gave you this entry level there. Draw a simple straight line that happens to be around the 50 on the monthly. And you can see double bottom support. 
air which gave you those lows nice touching of the line with uniform activity which gave you monthly lows there and since then the market has gone on close to a double and you don't need a lot of fundamental research or visual research it's once you see the uniform activity there take the trade double bottom support there take the trade let's take a look at a world market and we are taking a look at the Brazilian market from a monthly chart so Brazilian market and we, what we want to do is we see that there was a very big move here took the market from about 10,000 all the way to 70,000 and we can see that the move began during this RSI move somewhere there so we know that on hindsight that that was the ideal place to have gone long which corresponds with this entry somewhere here so that was the ideal place to, to have gone long just under 10,000 and so we draw a simple straight line from where the line gives us an entry and you can see that this uniform activity below the line back above it pretty much it's not perfect but close enough give you an entry there for a nice monthly move we see that we come here we have uniform activity to the line we touch that we have a multi-month rally to the upside for a swing trade we come here we touch it again which is this lows with a nice multi-month move higher not the best but it is still support we have uniform activity below the line back above it which is this entry this lows we got a multi-month move higher not the biggest mover and we see again that we have uniform activity below the line and back above it which was this lows and we get a decent move bottom line is you're not straight up m losing money and you can see already this month there's been a, more than a seven percent gain because the stock has come back to the very same line with uniform activity and is bouncing back above that line so anybody who was looking at that could have used that as a reason to have gone along the Brazilian market ask questions later but right now it looks like it's working up 8% and this is where there's there's been movement in the market every time it pulls back this is where price has been turning around going higher so if you're one of the traders out there looking for some type of method that gives you an idea remember no method is perfect but just an idea that a market a stock a commodity currency trade that you're watching could turn around after a recent pullback you might use the Moade rebound uniformity RSI method Eric Moade good luck peace and blessings Woo!